So early October, uh, Coach Corey had asked us what we wanted to do about the national anthem. Um, some people wanted to kneel, some people wanted to sit, and some people wanted to do what they felt was right for our team. And I was just kind of at a standstill. I didn't know what that meant. And I see, I've seen NFL players, I've seen WNBA players, I've seen uh, like other sports do certain things for that national anthem, and so that's a very big thing, right? And so for me, I wanted to do something that was inclusive for everyone. I didn't want to, I didn't want to walk on eggshells anymore. I didn't want to offend anyone, but I also wanted to stand my ground on what I believed in. To be honest with you, it was a really uncomfortable time. I'm a white leader, you know, and um, I. It was a very difficult as I watched the what was happening in the NFL, what was happening in terms of our on our own campus, in terms of, you know, just the unrest. And I wanted to be somebody who entered into hard conversations, who loved them well where they were, at the same time didn't claim that I understood. I mean, I've, I have white privilege, period. Obviously the country's in its own different strife all across, and so having a coach who doesn't stifle what we have to say, and really she asks for our opinions on a lot of things, and she wants to know where all of us are with everything, and whether you want to talk about it or not, she's perfectly fine with either way. And I think that's huge because there's so many programs that don't have that option. So for her to not only let us talk about it, but get to see things come to action like in the games itself and let Kelly roll with this um, new idea of hers with, through the team when she could just make us focus on basketball, I think it's huge. So after our team had the conversation about what we wanted to do for the national anthem, I went to sleep that night and woke up at 5 a.m. and I was like, blinking arms. I remember our whole team was excited about it, but then the next day Kelly comes in and she's like, okay, I have a mission statement, I have all this stuff written out, and I was like, oh my gosh. So this is the Together We Link logo. The black and white um, greater less than signs represent um, the dichotomy of difference of how society sees a lot of black and white or man and woman or gay and straight. It shows that it's not just this or that. It shows that there is a lot of gray area in between that our society refuses to look at and something that Together We Link is trying to symbolize. Um, but it also shows the linking of arms. What Kelly's doing in the linking of arms um, has us stand in unison in support of one another but then also in support of all the issues or things um, in our world, in our country that our team is passionate about. So it was really cool to know that um, KB, who's linked to my right, and Allie, who's linked to my left, like they could be thinking about totally different things, but I'm there standing with them for the things that are at their heart and that they're passionate about. In a lot of things in our society, people are shown to fight against each other or looked at for their differences, but in reality, we have a lot more in common than we do difference, and that's what it's about. And I think with a lot of work and you know willingness to be vulnerable about situations I think this can be something very big and it's something that anybody can join whether you're a student whether you're a student athlete whether you're a businesswoman you know it doesn't matter and it and what I want to use my platform as being a basketball player to expand it to swimmers to football players uh, to water pole players whatever it may be it's something that I know can really grow and something that can really develop into something big amongst all athletic communities not just basketball but to a greater scheme of the athletic community but also an individual.